In this video, how to add HDMI smartphone mirroring to your vehicle. So let's go ahead and look at this. We got HDMI and we got our Apple TV. Apple TV is pretty convenient because you can use the remote to control it. It's all in HD quality. Connect your Android phone and then rotate to enter Android. Android Auto CarPlay is highlighted. Press enter and you're entering the Android Auto world. You control everything with the joystick. This is Apple CarPlay. You got many applications. We actually got four pages of applications or even five. As you rotate the joystick, you go through the application pages. Just like in 2019, Acura MDX. This video features the Honda Odyssey years 2010 to 2013 as shown on the Acura MDX. The Honda Odyssey and the Acura MDX have identical screens and identical installation processes. All NavTool products are 100% designed and manufactured in the USA. Please support American jobs. NavTool, established in 2002. This interface does not replace factory radio or factory screen. This interface enhances the factory screen with features like Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, HDMI mirroring, and cameras. All factory features work the same as before. This interface is see-through, meaning the vehicle does not detect that the interface is installed in the car. Entire interface is controlled with the factory knobs. Set the radio to auxiliary, so you have the USB auxiliary. Don't forget you had to run the wire, as shown. Now you have auxiliary is working. To enter the interface, press and hold the cancel button for a few seconds. Now you are in the interface. Interface has the following feature. Please keep in mind that we're making this video a little bit from the top so that you can see the controls and that you can see the entire, uh, the entire panel. So we're going to go ahead and show you how everything works. Once again, so you can see better, we have to make the camera at an angle so you can see the screen and you can see the controls. To change between the interface and the factory screen, you press and hold the cancel button. You got options HDMI, CarPlay and Android Auto, and camera inputs. You got a rear camera which is factory, so when I'm using that, you can add a front camera. The way the front camera operates is out of reverse and to drive, the front camera stays on up to 10 seconds. That's good for parallel parking or you can turn it on and watch it at any time. Left and right cameras while you're driving you can switch. In this particular model, left and right camera cannot be activated automatically, but you can add them to watch your left and right blind spot. You can also use the camera inputs for the uh, DVD player. Now, let's go ahead and demo some of the features. So, HDMI. To HDMI, you can connect the following interfaces. For this demo to HDMI, we have connected Apple TV. You can also connect smartphone mirroring such as iPhone and Android, wired or wireless. We're connecting the HDMI and Apple TV for this demo, okay? So let's go ahead and look at this. We got HDMI and we got our Apple TV. Apple TV is pretty convenient because you can use the remote to control it. It's all in HD quality. The camera can be capturing it at the angle. So it might be a little bit bright or brighter than you expected, but as a matter of fact, this is 100% HD quality. And because this, those are HD screens, so you got all your favorite stuff that you can watch on the screen. And it is all in 100 HD quality. Let me change it for you so you can take a look. There you go. As you can see, every letter, everything is sharp. In the car, you will see it in 100% HD quality. Again, because we're capturing it from the top angle, it might look a little bit different than you would expect, but actually it will be 100% HD quality. Now, this is HDMI. To get out of the HDMI, just simply go ahead and use this twist it one time and it's going to go back into the main menu. Thank you for watching. Please click the link on the left to subscribe to the channel or click the link on the right to watch the full video.